Welcome back to another Canon Fast Reviews dot com. I'm totally doing video at a rock concert, a a death death metal concert. Um, no, I'm not. But I'm totally talking about this hardcore 50 mil 1.2. Uh, we're, we're gonna, I'm done, I'm done. I'm dizzy. Uh, we're gonna stick it on a Glidecam, uh, HD 2000, um, and we're sticking it on a Fidey Mark II. Uh, same thing with the Fidey Mark III body. Tiny bit of adjustments, uh, difference, but hardly anything at all. And the hardcore, uh, 50 mil 1.2L. Of course, just Mark I, because they won't come out with a Mark II. My goodness, oh. So this is an amazing lens, and it's a little bit tight for video, but it works awesome. Um, so this is super easy to do. Um, once you kind of understand how this thing works, then um, you'll see how easy it is, and you can go to any other lens after this, and you just basically, I'll show you. So first thing you want to do is, here's the really kind of exciting, interesting part about this lens, even though it's super heavy, uh, it's a big lens, uh, you only need one plate on either end, which is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> uh, with my Tokina, I just did a review a couple minutes ago on the um, Tokina setup on this, and you need like three plates on either side, plus that pig of a lens, so you got six plates, and it's super heavy, but this one, you just need one plate on either end. Um, then uh, you extend the legs all the way out as far as they can go. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you're gonna leave a gap here. It's about four and a half. Uh, oh shoot, what was it? Um, actually, let me just measure this. Uh, it's actually pushing almost, it's between, it's about four and three quarters to, f not quite, it's not at uh, five inches, but it's around that area, and that you're going to fine-tune depending on exactly what you have. Your memory card could change the game, um, because some memory cards are actually heavier than others. So, but basically between four and, a, four and three quarters to five, we're going to play in that area. <clears throat> you got to like, extend it out, then what you're going to do is um, you're going to put the plate on. So you want to make sure that you take your lens cap off <laughs> now, because if you don't take it off now, then you'll set it all up, you'll fine tune it and everything, and you'll take the lens cap off and it's going to go <laughs> um, Just that lens cap will throw the whole thing off. Um, one more thing I'll show you, don't fall off, um, is uh, this gap, let's say if we're going to do the swing test, I'm going to show you how to do that and everything, but let's say if you if you do your swing test and um, and uh, and it, it swings down really quickly, you're gonna uh, bring this back up a little bit. And at this point, we're talking about moving centimeters, so you're just gonna bring it up just a tiny bit. Um, and we're gonna, I'll show you the drop test. And then the other way, um, if it's head heavy, then you're gonna drop the legs. I'll get into that. So um, now for this. You're going to go at the second row and dead in the center. So second row from the bottom up and dead center. Um, and of course you're going to want to, so you throw on your memory card and um, that will also change things. So make sure your memory card is in there and also definitely put in a brand new battery. Uh, because when you open this, it doesn't open all the way, and it's hard to get your battery out. You have to take it all apart, or uh, I think you can actually pop the battery door off. Yeah, you can take the door right off it. Uh, just put a new battery in. Now is the fine tuning. So I'm just gonna cinch these up. We're going to do the drop test. And you're going to go for two, three uh, seconds on the drop. One, two, three ish. One, two, three. 
So it's a little bit fast, so what I would do then is just uh, bring this up just a smidge. I'm talking a smidge of a smidge. Try that again. One, two, three, boom. And I, I, I probably moved it up one, maybe two centimeters, so hardly anything at all. And that just threw off. And it's weird because you're, you want to make sure your legs are totally center. Do you, every time you adjust this, it throws this off as well, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it gives me something to tune then. So now we're going to be adjusting these two knobs. Uh, um, so if we if you turn this one to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, right. So if you turn this one to the right, um, it's going to push the camera forward. If you turn it to the left, it's going to bring the camera uh, back. Um, and same thing. It's kind of like a push shove thing. In yeah, easy to remember mentally. So again, if you turn this knob to the left, it's going to bring the camera out this way. If you push it in, turn it in, it's going to push the camera that way. So let's do one. So now it's going to swing over this way. So all we're going to do is you're going to you're going to crank it up. Just crank it in until you get in the game. Then from here, we're going to do really fine tunes, okay? So like one eighth of a turn, anything more, and it's going to throw it way out. So I'm going to do a just a tiny little turn. Great instructions, hey? Eh? Oh my goodness. Just watch all my videos. I totally don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Let's try that again. So now we're at the fine tuning. So we want to shove the camera that way. So you turn it in to shove it that way. And I think that's probably pretty close right there. Do a little bit of a tweak. And uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, same thing with the front and back. It's going to shove forward and back. Um, one thing I personally like to do, not everybody needs to do this, I actually um, uh, turn mine in a little bit extra so my composition drops, my lens drops a little bit. Um, the reason for that is that, uh, uh, well, not really a lens like this, but when I'm going wide angle, if I'm doing real estate video, I want to have it drop forward a little bit just so I can get the uh, countertops in the sink and the... Uh, dresser and this and that and I don't want just a whole bunch of white roof um, white ceiling so uh, and then even doing outside stuff I drop it a little bit just for the sake of uh, um, just kind of pushing the thirds getting rid of a lot of the sky and having more subject but then there's also a little artistic going up this way and getting a lot of sky if you want to you know show everybody how amazing the blue sky is where you live right so, but a lot of stuff, I'll have it tilted for just a smidge. Uh, I don't know how much, but it's just per taste. Um, and it spins like magic. And I think that's about it. So, thanks for watching uh, another one of my videos. If you like, it, uh, it'd be awesome if you could like and subscribe. Um, I got a lot more stuff I want to be putting out for you guys, and um, make sure you check out my website, uh, canfastreviews.com, C-A-N-N-O-N, that's two N's. Um, I'm going to go shoot my concert now.